So Comet Neowise is the comet that is uh, on all the news headlines right now. And the reason why it's exciting is because it is a visitor to our solar system. So it has a near parabolic orbit, which means that uh, it'll come by, fly by us, and then go on its way out, out, uh, outside of the solar system. So it's really only here for a short amount of time. So it really is this once in a lifetime opportunity to be able to see uh, this comet. Now it's exciting because it's really bright. So it has a magnitude of around one or two based on the latest observations. And I know that doesn't sound like very much, but magnitude scales are uh, logarithmic and the lower the number going into negatives, the brighter it is. So to give you an idea, uh, our sun is around negative 27 and our moon is around negative 13-ish. So having one or two in magnitude is fantastic. So I am sharing with you uh, the view of our nighttime sky. And you can see in the bottom corner, we have Comet Neowise. It's in this kind of purplish blue color and it's in the constellation Auriga. So I'm gonna teach you how to find it. So what you wanna do is you wanna look for Capella, which is the brightest star in the constellation Auriga. And it's easy to find because it's actually the sixth brightest star in our nighttime sky. And what you wanna do is you wanna draw a line from Capella down to uh, Menkalinen and then you want to draw that line down and towards the left. And then when you draw that line, you'll end up at Comet Neowise. So if you wanted to go look in the next few days or so, uh, the comet will actually be the highest in the dawn sky this Saturday, July 11th. So that would be the perfect time to go. Um, you will have to be somewhat of a night owl because uh, 3 or 4 a.m. is actually the best time to go look for it and dawn hours right now. And you want to look towards the northeast. But if you wanted to go look for it, let's say later in the month, uh, then you'll be wanting to look towards the northwestern skies and you want to go uh, just after sunset, so dusk. And you really want to go sooner rather than later because we did have this experience with Comet Atlas where it broke up before many people were able to see it. So I would highly recommend trying to get out and uh, observing this comet. And what's really cool is that, uh, so it just completed its closest approach to the sun that was on July 3rd, and now it's heading towards the closest approach to earth and that's on July 22nd. So it's a really cool uh, comet to be able to see. Uh, if you have binoculars, you will be able to differentiate the two comet tails. We talked about that uh, last week, but you can, it should be able to uh, see it within your naked eye as long as you're in um, some sort of dark sky location where you don't have a lot of light pollution. But if you do have light pollution, then I would highly recommend um, grabbing a pair of binoculars and heading out there.